We're going to take another look at the 2024 recruiting class, and we're going to shine a spotlight on four-star running back Jordan Washington, who signed with Arizona. We're going to look at his highlights. We're going to look at his 24-7 sports player profile page. But before we do all that, you need to click that subscribe button right now because we're talking about the 2024 recruiting class every single day this offseason, player by player, and you need to know what your players look like before they hit the field. Click that button. Stop missing out. This is our first player of the year that we're talking about from Arizona or going to Arizona, which is better stayed because he's going to the Arizona Wildcats. Four-star prospect per 24-7 sports, ranked 17th among running backs, 24th in the composite. The composite has him ranked 340th overall, 5'10", 170. And then looking at the offers here, we only got seven to his name right there not many but arizona colorado state oregon so some power five schools but not too many played in the polynesian bowl washington's not a big time player on the recruiting scene but he's fast 10 4 4 100 sub 10 40 times 10 3 1 is his personal best one of the fastest players in the 2024 class fastest players not fastest running backs one of the fastest players per times here as we've covered like the top 300 players in this class he's one of the fastest ones per numbers from the 100 meter times his explosiveness is definitely carried over to the football field we're going to see this on tape i can't wait to see how fast he is i can't wait to see his pull away oregon was after him but we're all in with arizona four-star prospect going over to on three they have him ranked 33rd among running backs ESPN has them at 16, Rivals 34, Industry averages at 25. ESPN has them at 244 overall, 5'10", 160. Smaller framed running back, but he's at 170 here at 24-7 Sports. Colorado State, Washington State's after him. That being said, I want to look at these highlights right now. I want to see that speed. I want to see him pull away. We have 4 minutes and 36 seconds. Let's watch him rock this. Let's watch him go. He's got the ball in his hands. We're moving to the outside. Let's score here. All right, let's hit that kick. We got some pull away. We're moving. We didn't hit top end. We didn't hit top end on that speed, so we can't really grade it. I definitely see some pop. Definitely see a quick turn in the legs. Now we're going. We're seeing some burst in the top end. Now we're slowing up because we know we got it. That's another sign of speed. He does have some burst. He is quick. He is very fast. He's a guy that could be productive early in his career due to the speed. And it's a lot of burst too. It's a lot of pop off the step. And when he turns it on, it's go time. I was saying this earlier. I think I stopped. But one way to gauge speed. Look at, look at the background there. But the one way to gauge speed, which is different, is... A player knows they're fast. They know how far the separation needs to be, and they'll slow up. They'll slow up in the middle of the field, even with guys chasing them. And that's because he's fast. He's fast. He's got a really quick turn in the legs. He's really fast. He's got burst and quickness, too. That's just there. Look at him go. Look at him go. In there. You watch enough of these top end runners, you'll see the kicks and bursts are just at different stages. His just turns on whenever he wants it to turn on. He's got a very quick turn in the legs, maybe because he's shorter than some of the other guys who are like 6'1 or so. I forget his height. What's his height at? 5'10, yep. That being said, look at him go. There it is. There it is. Then there's another kick of burst. So he's kind of like got two kicks of burst, which you see in a lot of top end runners, but like one in the initial start, he starts to gather that speed, and then he hits another one. That second one's where the pull away happens, and he melts your face. There he goes. We got swift feet. But like I was saying earlier, really fast guys. Once they get that separation, they know they don't have to go 100% anymore because they know they have it. And if the gap gets closed up on, they just know they just push on the gas a little bit and, and really pull away. And that's a good way to know if someone's really fast. If you're not getting good tape off of them where they're playing in a lot of trash and 
they're in a spot here kind of like this. Like, you're not going top end, but you're gliding. Like, there's some speed there. Like, subjectively, you can make a case against that. But once you've covered enough players, you kind of know. You kind of just know. But if you're not getting a good sample from your highlights, that's one thing you can look at. That if he never hit his top end to where you didn't know, but you knew it was kind of there, but you're looking for clues, that's that's a big clue. He's quick. He's fast. He's weaving in and out. He's got some Bo Jackson in his game. And he's got a lot of upside. Tons of upside with that speed. Like, I don't even think level of competition matters. Like, once you're in an open field with that speed, it, it's a headache. It's a problem. It's a problem. Arizona's just got to get him the ball, get him in space. He's a pro. He's a huge problem. Here we go. Bam. Ball's in the air. Ball's in the air. Catching balls out of the backfield. Getting him the ball in space and let him go. Here we go again. I like him. I like him for what he is too. The nice, good, fast satellite back. You get him with a big pounder. You get the fastball and the change up. Defense is going to have trouble with that. He's got NFL upside with the speed, too. You're like, yeah, he needs to add weight. Well, that's going to happen naturally. 10, 15, 20 pounds, whatever. He ain't going to lose much step off that. Good hands. Gets upfield quick. Yeah, I like his upside. And we all know the innate trait here that we're going to talk about is that speed. He can melt your face with that speed. He's got that top end speed. He's got burst. From what I see, his burst just kicks on when he wants it to, but he's got a lot of burst in the beginning, and then at that top end, that pull away, he'll kick on those jets. He's got that second gear of burst, which a lot of top end runners have. A lot of top end speedsters have that you see in the 10-3s, the 10-4s, the 10-5s. They have that second burst that kicks on around 60 yards downfield. So you may not see it when he runs a 40, but you see it on the field when he's running and it's deep down there. He's still got to pull away. He just kicks it. He's gone. He pulls away. He melts everybody's face. He's very assertive. He has good footwork. Smaller frames, but the speed makes it worth it. He's got a lot of upside. I'd say NFL upside with that speed, especially he keeps developing from this right now going forward because he's got a ton of upside. I look for him to be productive soon. If he hits early in camp, if he hits early in practices, especially once we get into the fall, I look for him to be productive soon because you can't keep that speed off the field. If he's doing well in practice, knowing the plays, being at the spots and everything like that, knowing the steps in the backfield, coaches like him, he's going to be on the field. He's got a lot of upside. He's got a lot of speed. We see that he's very dominant at the point of attack there. He's very dominant with the ball in his hands. I can't see him not being on the field. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Make sure to hit that subscribe button on the way out. I want to thank you for watching. Catch you on the next video.